Before the war, it was a small English-language theater located in the basement of an apartment building on Shulyavka in Kiev. It composed of only two directors and four actors. On the first day of the attack, when Russian missiles were already bombing Kiev and other Ukrainian cities, the entire theater team was in this room. Since the basement belonged to an apartment building, the theater workers very quickly got an audience from people who were looking for shelter from war. About 40 people were living in the theater rooms and slept wrapped up in theater curtains. The cold and lack of food very quickly forced the theater workers to retrain as volunteers. They searched for food, helped people leave and set up humanitarian aid even outside their bunker. But no matter how difficult the situation is, every artist always strives to create art. That's why on the second day of the war, the entire creative group began to record anti-war songs, poems and appeals to the whole world to help Ukraine and stay with it until complete victory. Then they put on a play called The New World Order by Harold Pinter. The founder of the theater and main director Alex Borovensky noticed that the audience were not able to enjoy the acting. What was happening in reality was much more astonishing than any movie, book or theatrical fiction. Although theater workers were doing their best in acting for people who lived with them, they wanted to do something much more than entertain people. They considered their mission in telling the whole world about the terrible events that were taking place in Ukraine. So the artists asked their friends from TV for special equipment to broadcast the events online. The next day they played a symbolic performance called The Book of the Sirens. It was symbolic because the story was about a small German town that had been bombed in 1945, and the local people, who had supported or had not supported Hitler. The audience, who were in the bunker at the time of the performance, met new play with applause. If earlier any war stories had seemed like a past stage of history or fiction, now it was a tragic reality which, unfortunately, the people of Ukraine were facing. This time the audience was not only the inhabitants of the bunker, but also people from all over the world. Viewers from different countries joined the stream and watched the performance of the theater, which was located in the very center of the war. Stay together with Ukraine and help it in this difficult time. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video.